Today I was able to attend the pageant and speak to the queens on what the pageant means to them. I've loved this title. It's been the biggest honor of my life, and I'm so excited to see where it takes me in the future. The 2020 Bakersfield pageant kicked off this evening with the unveiling of their theme, Service Above Self, which was to honor veterans, military, and first responders. And the 18 contestants during the pageant found ways to show their appreciation. I feel that this is the beginning of the next 25 years, and I want to break the stigma that we are the Bakersfield pageant, and we are a service organization, so what better role model than to identify with our military and our first responders. Donning in its 26th year, the pageant continues in tradition with its three categories. Miss Teen Bakersfield, 14 to 17 years old, Miss Bakersfield, non-married, 18 to 25, and the Miss Bakersfield are contestants who are married and 23 years and older, where they compete in the following categories. They are judged on their personality, their interview skills, their uh, presentation skills on stage. There is no talent category. We do not have a swimsuit category. So it's basically uh, an all around um, first lady of the city type pageant. Tape shares that the Bakersfield pageant is breaking stereotypes within the pageant world with this style and mission, which is getting women involved in their community and becoming givers. I would describe the pageant as a community oriented sisterhood of women who know that it is not your crown, but your attitude that makes the biggest difference. The new Queens will attend more than 50 appearances around Bakersfield, receive a scholarship and other fun prizes. And another congratulations to the new Bakersfield Queens. For now, live in studio, Leslie Gooden, 23 ABC News, connecting you. All right, thanks for that, Lesla.